Hey guys, it's me. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make the virtual reality helmet. I did a few episodes, uh, a few videos back. Okay, first off, you're going to need this. You're going to need a cardboard box about this height and width, something that will fit your phone and your face. And uh, you need to cut out a little groove for it, like that, and a groove on the top for your hat to fit in. Okay, you need to get some tape on the sides and tape to block all the little holes for the uh, light to come through. And what I did to hold my phone in place, I used this other end of the box. Just cut out a square part and put some tape around it to reinforce it. Gonna still fix this. This thing isn't completely 100% done. I took a little bit of a cushion from a uh, towel or something and I put it in the nose piece for you guys uh, for extra comfort. And I, it's basically all held together with tape. <laughs> okay, well I use my hat. You're gonna need a hat for this or a strap, anything to keep it on your face. Okay. Next, you're going to need the other end of the cardboard piece just to hold your phone in place unless you have a better idea how. Okay, you need the tape over here to hold the Wii Remote on the side. The Wii Remote is the next thing you need. But you also need a Wii Motion Plus. Oh, this will not work. You need the nunchuck to walk around and shoot with. That's for first-person shooter games. Okay, moving on. You're also going to need Glove Pie to set this whole thing up so the Wii Remote works as your mouse. And this works as WASD for basic first person shooters. This will, when you hold down the Z button and move your head around, that's what gets you the head tracking. If you don't have it held down, it's not going to work. See, so you go like this. I'll have the code probably in the description. I'm not really sure yet, but all that's done with. And what I, what I use for the cell phone to copy the PC screen to play the games is I use Splash Top 2. I'm not sure if that works on uh, iPhones or not, but it works on Android. It's really good, it's not low, like resolution or anything, and it's actually really fast and copies the computer screen just as, uh, just as fast. Okay? Um, what you need to do to connect your phone from Splashtop 2 onto your computer screen is you need to download Splashtop Streamer. Just go to Splashtop.com and download the streamer. After downloading that, make an account, and as soon as you log in your account on your phone and the computer, there you are. Go. That's that simple. No IP address, nothing. Just type in your account, and it logs right in. So much different for cool stuff with that. Actually, you can spy on stuff with it too. But um, moving on, you just need that, and you need GlovePie. GlovePie, I uh, just download. Just go to GlovePie.com, I think. Not really sure. Um, I will put the description. I'll put my script for the first person shooters in the description for you guys. That's basically how you make it. That's it. You just need a cardboard box. A hat to hold it in. Oh yeah, use some glue, like Gorilla Glue. That actually works really good. You're going to have to clamp it down for about two hours to keep the hat in there. That hat ain't coming off anytime soon. You're going to need this. I'm going to put some sticks on here to reinforce it because it's really bendy. And my phone always slides around because of that. You're going to need a Wii Motion Plus. A remote with the Wii Motion Plus built in will work just fine. I don't have one. I just got this. Um, you can pick these up for like three bucks at a pawn shop or something. Uh, nunchucks, I have like 50 of these, I got like 5 of these. It's not that hard to come by to make this. You can probably make it with every household item you have. Uh, it's very easy. Use any size box you want that fits your face and your phone. You don't have to go by what I'm doing. Okay? Like I said, everything's going to be in the description, so just check that if you have any more questions. Comment if you have any questions that you need to ask me personally. And I'll see you guys later. Hey, and if you want to see me use this virtual reality helmet in action, if you haven't seen me, uh, the older video, go back to the old video and watch. It's actually pretty cool and will probably make you want to do this project. Uh, good luck, and see you guys next time.